Welcome back to Math Window. Solve this equation about x. x times square root of x is equal to x plus square root of x. So what should we do? Of course, first, x and square root of x, they have a relationship. That is, squared. So firstly, what should we do? Of course, we have to let. We can let the square root of x be equal to t. We know that square root of x is equal to t. Mm. What's the range of t? The range of t is only non-negative. So that's okay. t is greater than or equal to zero. So then, square root of both sides, we can get the relationship between x and t. So that is x is equal to t squared. Now, firstly, substitution. So that is only equal to t squared and then times t is only equal to t squared plus t. And then for a second step, t squared then times t, it is t cubed. On the right hand side, t squared plus t. So easy. Then, subtract t squared plus t on the bottom sides, then t cubed minus t squared minus t is equal to zero. So then, common factor, what is it? Of course, it is t. Not the t for drinking, however, the valuable t. t times t squared minus t minus one is equal to zero. So, the left hand side is a product, and the right hand side is zero. Hmm. Successful. So then, of course, we have two cases. The first case, for our first case, t is equal to zero. And when t is equal to zero, so... When t is equal to zero, then x is equal to t squared. x is equal to zero squared is zero. So... 0 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 0, of course, it is absolutely correct. For a second case, of course, if t is equal to, no, if t squared minus t minus 1 is equal to 0, then if I use the quadratic formula, we can get that t is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a quadratic formula now please substitute b is equal to negative 1 a is 1 and c is negative 1 into this formula negative b it is negative negative 1 it is 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared it is 1 Minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. It is 1 plus 4. It is 5. So it is, so it is 1 plus or minus square root of 5. And then divided by 2 times a is only 2. Since a is equal to 1. Under the second case, we also have two cases. Ah, the first case. When t is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Then, what is x? Of course, x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 all squared. It is 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. For our second case, of course, t is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. You know that t is always non-negative. However, in this case, t is negative, so it doesn't work. Do you got the answers? Do you got the trick? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!